Hello viewers, this is SR welcoming you to your YouTube channel at Nocturnal Fortune. In this video, I will be taking you on a nostalgic trip back to the 2007 and we will analyze the visuals that are upon offer and the performance metrics of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is undoubtedly the one of my most favorite Call of Duty game ever. The game during its original release broke all the sales records and was a critically acclaimed game, also bagging numerous Game of the Year awards. And it was a fitting example of first person game with immersive storytelling. The game broke away from the shackles of being set from then moderately repetitive theme of World War II and swapped it with contemporary and fictional scenario with modern warfare. Visuals upon offer was mighty impressive and the game's overall presentation was the one of the best in the industry. Call of Duty 4 has a remastered version as well that heavily upgrades the visual of the original game and the good news is that I have covered that game on the channel so do check that out. I will be sharing a link in the video description that you should use to watch the advancements that the gaming industry has done in the gap between this game and the remastered version. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare surprisingly still holds up well today and the in-game character models are authentically represented with fine details like finely tuned facial expressions and the character models are nicely packed with detail and definition. One example of this is the way the Captain Price's cigar cast a glow of light on his face thanks to the cigar he is smoking. These small details point out the hard work done by the developers of the game to make their world feel more real and believable. Even though the remastered version serves as a reminder that what a decade long technology advancements brings to the table for the video games in general but for the old time's sake. Score 1 for character models and their expressive facial gestures and motion capture. The texture work done by the developers is an amazing one and looking back at the time period when the game was released, the in-game texture work present in the game are surprisingly sharp but due to their age, they now appear mostly flat due to their overall lower resolution. Even though the normal maps and specular maps are present in the game, they lack the depth and precision to sell this as a modern title. However, they surprisingly hold well, especially at higher resolutions. Curiously enough, the game features an option for glow effect. Toggle in the game's visual settings that does exactly what it says. It makes the textures of materials having reflective properties glow whenever a light falls on their surface from a light source. However, this effect is sometimes over exaggerated and makes the surface intensively maybe too much for my taste. This was a common theme during the 7th generation console games which was dubbed and I quote the HD effect. Once again, the nighttime missions featuring British SAS troops set up mostly inside the Russian territory add to the heightened fog and smoke effects. And for a game released in 2007, these effects add to the atmosphere and gloom, successfully trying to marry the beauty with isolation and desolation. That sets up a contrasting scene between the early SAS and USMC missions. These shadow casted from the direct or indirect sources of light are packed with detail and they are distinctively on par with other titles of that time period. However, the sharp it may be the shadow filtering and their overall resolution are generally on the lower side of the spectrum, but nothing too much to warrant a concern. So the game's overall visual quality has aged somewhat quite good. The textures are sharp, the character models are good for a 2007 game and the only thing in the overall presentation and the visual features set that fails to age is undoubtedly the lighting quality from various sources in the game. The games and their graphics have evolved tenfold since the inception of this game. So I will leave this for you the viewers to decide whether it works for you or not or whether it is a vintage classic or an outdated mess. Now the time has come to do some performance testing and I will be using the venerable GeForce RTX 4080 GPU and will be running the game at native 4K with graphical options set to extreme. One thing that you will be able to examine that this Call of Duty game performs worse than the remastered version on a modern system all thanks to a lower GPU utilization and a high CPU utilization. 
However, this should not be the case in an ideal world, but there are performance anomalies which are present that prove this fact. For example, in the mission warping, the GPU utilization falls as low as 30% and the CPU utilization reaches sky high 81%. At this sky high resolution, CPU utilization should not be the limiting factor that limits the frame rates. But this is indeed a true fact and the game being heavily single threaded doesn't help the matter. This was a common theme during the 7th generation console cycles and the frame rates in the combat heavy sequences falls as low as 110 or even lower. But the only consolation that you can find within yourself if you are being optimistic that you can actually play this game in all its glory even in 2024. Years after its initial release, all thanks to your trusted gaming partner, the personal computer. So that will be all for this video. I hope that your time spent while watching this video was informative and entertaining. And if you agree with my words, then you can support my work by subscribing to the channel. And for the record, thank you Infinity Ward for this glorious piece of art. And thank you to all the viewers of this video from the bottom of my heart.